What is up ladies and gentlemen welcome back to my channel my name is Stan Pro Gamer here and I upload this gameplay here to the TSG gaming community channel and I just want to upload it here in my channel because I know some of you guys haven't seen it so I'll let you guys get into the video peace What is up guys? What is up? My name is Stan Pro Gamer. Welcome back to my channel. Or should I say Thunderstruck Gaming? I appreciate it, Thunder, for letting me upload in your channel. I'm running here with the Razorback on TDM. And I've been checking on Thunder here on his channel. And for some reason he has a lot of gameplay with the sentry guns. So I decided to put the sentry gun up to the task. Jeez, this sentry gun puts in work. The only thing I don't like about the sentry gun is you're gonna have to babysit it unless you put a trip mine behind it even that you're gonna have to be checking it out constantly this is a beast the block ops 2 one for some reason it just sucked now the block ops 3 one this one plays like it came from hell guys like this puts in work and now that we're comparing stuff from block ops 2 to block ops 3 i want to talk about the c4 i'm not sure if i'm the only one that feels this way the c4 on block ops 2 put in work i know some of you guys are probably gonna put in the comments down below Fair pro gamer why are you using c4 that's for try hard guys C4 is not for tryhards. The only reason I used C4 in Black Ops 2 was to get campers out of corners, was to get campers out of building, especially in Nuketown. Like the C4 in Black Ops 3 just sucks. It just sucks. And it's so slow. When you're throwing the C4, it takes a couple seconds to throw. Then you're going to have to wait until it hits the floor or it hits the wall to explode. Come on, guys. The only good thing that they added to the C4 in Black Ops 3 was the alarm when an enemy goes near it it starts beeping and it comes up and you scream it like turns red into press square and it explodes now it does have a good radius i'm not gonna complain about the radius you really can't kill anybody with it you're gonna have to take your time put it on the floor put it in it somewhere if you're trying to counter campers it's not gonna work out with the c4 and block ops 3 now the next one that i think might replace the c4 it's the thermite if you guys know it's like a little grenade that explodes and it turns to like a he zone it puts in work i'm gonna see if i can get some clips on here how i was putting in work with the thermite like i said i think this is gonna replace the c4 because the c4 just sucks in block ops 3 it, it has to hit the floor to explode it's not a c4 anymore how we used to know it i used to use c4 only for campers that shit is not working anymore now we're gonna have to move to an alternative which is gonna be the thermite i'm gonna show you guys here some gameplays how the thermite works out it's better than c4 and if you guys disagree with me me tell me down in the comments do you guys think the c4 is good in block ops 3 i really think they should take out the thing about hitting a surface to explode and trust me when i try things i just don't try it from two games three games i try them for like 10 games 20 games and to see how they work out i got some gameplay in the background showing you guys how this thermite is putting in work burning these campers alive now in this other subject i wanted to speak about skill based matchmaking how i'm totally against it they shouldn't be adding skill based matchmaking in block ops 3 i know there was a tweak on the update for matchmaking it's gonna kill block ops 3 for that i'll just go to advanced warfare and fucking drink g fuel in every game that i go to overdose from g fuel i think they should make it based on connection to be honest like how they said it in the beginning that it was gonna be based on connection they shouldn't be making it based on kd based on score per minute like that's just ridiculous it's just let everybody play let them be them if you're new to Call of Duty, I suggest you go to campaign, play some campaign, and then go to multiplayer, go into the bots, play with the bots, then you go to multiplayer online. But there's people that have been playing Call of Duty for years, and for them just to say goodbye, then babysit the newbies, come on guys, that's not fair at all. After a while, after you go and try hard in each game, it gets tired after a while, and it's not fun anymore. And that's just my opinion on skill-based matchmaking. If you guys want to comment down below what you guys think about the C4, is it good in block ops 3 does it suck now before we leave let me tell you guys a little bit about me my name is stan pro gamer i'm a small youtuber around 1k i upload call of duty news call of duty updates from 5kd challenge to a road to gold i do all those i do some zombie videos as well and make sure to check me out i upload daily call of duty content make sure to slap a like on this video my name is stan pro gamer i'll catch you guys on my next video peace